Hey everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about the third aspect of the brain that music helps to develop. We've talked about the auditory cortex of the brain, we've talked about the visual cortex of the brain, and how they help and um, are developed and strengthened by music, and today we're going to talk about the motor cortex of the brain. The motor cortex of the brain, of course, has to do with movement, and movement is an extremely important part of learning. In fact, the motor areas of the brain have to do with the organization of the entire neurological system. And when you play, an, when your child plays a musical instrument, they are using and developing and exercising and strengthening the motor areas of the brain. It's similar to when a baby crawls. When a baby is crawling, that whole crawling movement is organizing the brain. Carla Hannaford of Smart Move said that movement is an indispensable part of, of learning. And so, as, as a child is learning a musical instrument, they're, learning, they're using their fingers. And as they use their fingers, they're learning and developing um, dexterity. But all of this translates into fine motor development, like when they're used, doing handwriting. They need to have that fine motor development, and that is uh, strengthened when a child learns a musical instrument, whether they're playing the piano, whether they're playing the violin, whether they're playing a, a woodwind instrument or a percussion instrument. They are always using their hands, sometimes their feet, sometimes their mouth, all of those different things develop and strengthen the motor areas of the brain. Now, there are different things that you can do by incorporating music into your home and doing motor type exercises at the same time. Oftentimes when kids come home from school, they're really tired or before they go to school, you know, they're not working on all four cylinders. So one thing that you can do is play marching music. Now, I know that some parents have their kids actually play and practice their musical instrument before they go to school. That will get their brain working on all four cylinders. But if you don't have time to do that, that your mornings are too he hectic and busy, then do this very quick. It will take less than five minutes. I would turn on some of the music of John Philip Sousa, and when the kids Kids heard that we had a music, we had a sound system throughout our whole house, and so when they heard that music in the morning, we played this game, and it was mainly for my third son who had learning disabilities and who was very scattered in the morning. It was attention deficit, and I wanted to keep him on task. I wanted to him to be focused and to concentrate on the, the task at hand. So he did certain. We, so what we did as a family is when we heard the marching music, we'd march into the bathroom to go to the bathroom, wash your face, brush your teeth so on and so forth, march into your bedrooms, march when you're making your beds, march downstairs to eat breakfast. Everything was march, 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 march. Marching is like crawling. It helps to organize the brain. And as they were listening to this music, it helped them to become more organized. And I'll tell you, you need to try it because it's pretty profound and it's pretty amazing how organized your mornings will feel by doing this very simple thing of marching. Now, another thing that I did is when they came home from school, they were tired. So um, I would have them change, come home and change their clothes, have a snack, run around. And right before we were going to sit down and do homework, if I could tell that they were still scattered, one thing that we did is we marched. I turned on that marching music and we marched, 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 marched around the house to get everybody's brains and all, all four cylinders working the way that it was supposed to work. Now, as I mentioned before that there's music that you can play for your children, that works and that is very powerful and I would do that. It was just some of those days when they would come home and I would sense that they were extra uptight, you know, school maybe had been extra difficult and this was another way of getting them working uh, with their brains uh, working on all four cylinders. Now, there's a lot of different books that you can also bring in music and movement. Uh, Miss Mary Mack is one, and this is a real favorite of a lot of. Um, the Brave Old Duke of York is another one. The Lady with the Alligator Purse, Down by the Bay. All of those are excellent to, to read to your children because they have this sing-songy rhythm, to do the different hand movements as well because that increases their motor activity. Anything that you can think of that will help in terms of them playing a musical instrument, keep in mind that that is organizing the entire neurological system. And with that organization comes better focusing and better concentration and better success in school. You can read about this and more, how the visual and the auditory systems and the motor systems all work together when a child is learning a musical instrument on my blog. 
at Good Parenting Brighter Children. Let me leave you with this quote, and I love this quote. It's by Edna, Edna Machensky. We are so much like violins, frames with sensitive strings. The touch of the hand that holds the bow determines the music it, the, determines the music it brings. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.